Welcome to Toys TV, everybody. Yeah, and today we're going to unbox another Hot Toys figure, and this part we call X Unbox. Yeah. And I'm your host Joe, and this is William. Nice to meet you all. And now let's do the unboxing. Three, two, one, go! Power and guards. Yay! Oh, so, nice pose, you guys. Yeah, the red guards is here, and you can see that two of them, the head. Uh, armor is armor. different. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And there are different kind of weapons. So it seems like very juicy because there are a lot, a lot of uh, parts we can talk about. First of all, let's focus on the armor. There are actually three different kinds of helmet, and Hot Toys uh, put two of them in one box. Yes. So if you want all three of them, you have to buy both boxes. Yeah. yeah. This is one set. Yeah. Yeah, and this is actually a yeah. duplicate. So yeah. this goes with this one. Yeah. Yes. And this one is more like um, Oriental Japanese it's looking. Yeah. We have a candle uh, armor style helmet. Yeah. And, uh, and this one is more like a medieval, medieval yeah. one, you know, yeah. Western, Western style. Yeah, Western style looking yeah. helmet. They actually have names yeah. in the movie. Yeah. I didn't know that from the movie. Yeah. So this guy with this helmet, yeah. uh, it. Called the first guard and the yeah. third guard. Are they junior guards? I think it's junior. I think Maybe. so. It's yeah. just like the yeah. gameplay level yeah. one, level two, yeah. go up. Yeah. And this guy is called the seventh guard. And, the and this guy has no name. No name. <laughs> yeah. Supervisor, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe the fifth guard. There's there's a fifth missing, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And we look at from the top to the bottom, and let's yeah. talk about armor. Armor, and I think a lot of uh, player they are curiosity about their, their arm. Yeah. Wow, it's it's like a lot of pieces. Yeah. How does it work? Uh, it looks like a lobster tail. Yeah. The, yeah. Actually, yeah. The, I think the concept is from the ancient more Roman era. Yeah. The the armor's name called Lorica Segmentata. I think it's an Italian or a Latin uh, Latin Latin, 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 yeah. Latin style words. And uh, but actually, you can see all the Roman uh, soldiers would have the uh, you know uh, his uh, you know the front arm or oh, no. Uh, the upper arm. The upper arms. Yeah. yeah, I was I was telling him that uh, the Roman style they often comes in a short sleeve, right? O only the upper arm. They, they seldom this. cover the forearm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I guess you know it's just some kind of inspiration. Yeah. And uh, we actually took it out uh, a couple minutes ago, and mm. this is all one piece. One piece. The whole it's, arm. The whole sleeve is one piece. Yeah. yeah. And then they just glue it's all this uh, individual yeah. layer armor on, yeah. on the sleeve and then they put the whole thing on the arm. It yes. looks like individual, you can twist a little bit, but actually it is, is a one piece like that. Mm -hmm. And the uh, articulation, it's from here, like the joint is here. But because of this yeah. design, uh, it's I will expect a, a lot bit. of range yeah. of motion. Yeah. Yeah. So what about the paint job? Can you tell me the, the red, is that is that a paint job or is yeah, just the color actually, of the plastic? I like that. It's really similar with the movie. Yeah. It's look, yeah. it's look yeah. good. It's look very yeah. good. Actually, the I think the material is uh, in red colors uh, when they are from the injection mold. Yeah, and the so, plastic is red. Yeah, yeah. yeah plastic is red and then they make a, uh, a spray color. Uh, a clear coat, like yeah. a glossy, yeah. clear coat. Yeah. 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 The glossy, but uh, actually you have to, if you really want to pay caref careful, you have to wearing a glove to Play with this. Otherwise, your finger pins will like stick it all mm. around. So how about the body armors? Is this look like uh, like a, again like a Japanese Japanese style? kento kento yeah. kento. Oh. kento. It, uh, yeah. the, the body armor is called do oh. yeah. do do. Yeah. yeah, but I would like to focus on what inside here. So if you are under eighteen, don't look at the screen. Three, two, oh. one. Woo! It's a girl. It's That's a girl. nothing. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. That's nothing down oh, there. It's a girl. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you can see that it's very clean. How can yeah. I say? It's not a lot of detail yeah. from inside. I think it makes sense because it's covered already. Like yeah. a motorbike pants. Uh, yeah, I was saying that it, it looks like a motorcycle riding pants. Yeah. And this is platter. Yeah. With some kind of padding inside. Yes. Right? You, can, you can feel the texture feel it, when you yeah. press this. And, and here, you can feel that it's it's really different. And the foot is quite good. The joint, like, it's all around it. Yeah, the boot is two pieces. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And next, let's talk about uh, the weapons. weapons. Yeah. yeah. 
So you can see that these two guards standing here, they are holding different kind of weapons. Actually, they got different kind of names. Yeah, they are uh, exclusive to each of the design. So you have to match the weapon with the helmet. So for example, this one, the seventh guard, he's holding uh, this twin blade. It's called Twin Vibro RB Blades. Yeah, and actually you can and you can put them together, together. Yeah, and make it into one. Just like the movie. Ooh, yeah. it's like a fan. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright. And uh, well, let's go with this helmet. This guy goes with this long blade, which is called the Vibro Vogue. And if you put this helmet on, there are two different kinds of uh, weapons. You have the, uh, this is called the uh, Bilary Electro Chain Whip. There are two forms. This is like a rod. And, and this is there's a, the wood form, which is uh, flexible, and you can pose with different kinds of yeah, you you know. twist it. Yeah. yeah, but beware! You can see that every one of the connection, actually, I, I can wire. feel that yeah, it's a yeah. wire. It's a little bit whiskey if you twist a lot. Mm. All right, and then also with this helmet, you have this weapon, which is called the Electro Bicento. It's a Japanese term, so it's Bicento, not Bicento. And if you play games like the Dynasty Warriors, you may recognize something like this. Uh, it's similar to a Chinese or Japanese weapon. Yeah. And if you look at the blade... Yeah, in the movie, they have something extra, right? Yeah, it's like a laser. Yep. It's something like lightsaber There's a little like bit. like a red beam coming up here. Yeah. They yeah. also have it uh, with here with this here. weapon as well. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, it's kind of difficult to make, and they don't have that. And beware, because like when you play with the weapon, it's it's I I can just say it's quite whiskey, yeah, a little bit flimsy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So before we end this, let's twist and move and see the articulation how it works. Yeah. And I want to point out that the, the side skirts, say, they're not wired. Yeah. They have some kind of weight to it, so it drapes really well. But if I want to do some like really pose. high action pose, you know, with, like, with the skirts flying around, it's almost impossible. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first of all, uh, you, let's look at the head. Actually, when we twist, when we turn, yeah, uh, left there right are some side details is good. inside. Yeah, did you see? Yeah, yeah. There's like two a different texture, plastic hat inside, but you cannot take it out. It's only for attaching the joint. Yeah, yeah. that is a good yeah. detail. But however, when you like turn up, look at the top, it's a little bit difficult because like the helmet, there the back of the neck. Yeah, the right? back of the neck is blocked. Extended. Yeah. Yeah, it blocked. This the one is a little bit better. Yeah. So you know he can look up a little bit better. Yeah, when you look down, it's it's difficult too. You can't really look look down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then next the chest, slightly a little bit. You can mm. twist, not not that much. And not much going back and forth as yeah. well. It's quite stiff. Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe in real life their armor is very stiff. So. Yes, and about the arms, you, you, I don't think you will expect a lot, but I think it's not that bad. You can see that. Ooh. Okay. And here is just like a normal guy. Yeah, the, the elbow is quite stiff as well. You yes. know, it doesn't bend over ninety degrees. Yeah. yeah. Less than 60. Yeah. And the next is about the hips. Okay, you can twist. Oh, a little slightly better than chest, but mm, I think you don't expect too much. And the legs. Pretty standard for. Of course, yeah. 
but since this is platter I don't recommend you bend the knees for a long period of time otherwise uh, this material will stretch or in the long run it may crack so I would just put him in a standing pose in the display case so in Hong Kong it costs 1200 yeah. something under 1300 yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not too much yeah. well because it doesn't have a head sculpt you know and, yeah. you know just but i think like, like you can pay with kind of. different kind of weapons it's not too bad yeah and uh especially if you watch the movie you know they have a pretty cool action scene you yep. know they're fighting ray and kylo ren and that scene was pretty cool so uh if you want this i suggest you get two of them you know the two sets yeah make 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 it look like the uh the snoke uh throne room and you know looks pretty cool and also the stands uh one is red and the other one is white and the design is a little bit different yeah you can see that the helmet showed you yes. Which and one? This is detachable, so you can take it out if you don't want to use this. But uh, it has, you can tell me your own. <laughs> it has texture, and you know it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's summarize. Okay. So what do you like, and what what do you wish hot, hot toys would make better about? It? Better, as you said, uh, if there are some wire, so when you do different kind of pose. You can feel the the action. Yeah, it's it's more dynamic. Yeah. Yes. Um, on the other hand, I think mostly the texture already very good. It looks like you know it's just the same thing from the movie. You know, yeah, it's quite good. And also on the weapon, it doesn't have the red laser yeah. laser film coming out from the from the blade. Uh, that's the only thing I would complain about. But overall, I think that uh, is difficult yeah. to make a red laser. Yeah. It's already very uh, good for Hot Toys to, to make it, I think, almost 95% to uh, re-accomplish the, 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 the look. Yeah, yeah, you know, they have the to book. be true to the design yeah, from the yeah, movie. Yeah. So, you know, I think they already did a very good job. If, if you make a good poster and make a good photo, I think people will think that, is it a, a poster from a movie or from a 1-6 scale yeah. figure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. one knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah. I think that's about it uh, this time. Yeah, thank don't you forget, for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe our channel, and yeah. we will see you next time. Yeah, bye. Bye bye.